Here we go, another fun tutorial. If you like holiday crafting as much as I do, you're gonna love this bunny. Isn't he the cutest? Way fun project today, we're gonna make this bunny decor sign. It's really cute, let me show you. It's distressed, which gives it that extra fun look. It's got a super fun pom-pom on it, and it's kind of thick wood base, so it will stand on a shelf. You don't need anything special to make it. The stencil I just cut out of contact paper, and then I had the boards pre-cut, so we're gonna dive right in. I'll show you how to make it. You're gonna go ahead and start with a white board, so if your board is raw, go ahead and paint it white so that you have a good base to work with. After the white has dried, you're gonna go ahead and paint a layer of pink or whatever color you would like your bunny on top of the board. It doesn't have to be too precise and just one layer is fine. It's okay if it's a little streaky. You just wanna go ahead and cover your board in the color that you would like to paint your bunny. And you're gonna set that aside and you're going to paint your trim boards to match. So same color around the trim, unless of course you want them to be a different color, then you can paint them whatever color you want. The trim boards, if they're not already painted white, as you can see mine are raw, you might need two coats of paint on the trim boards versus just the one coat of paint that you did on the bunny. Um, with the trim boards, you'll wanna paint all the sides um, because when you put the trim on, you're able to see all sides. So you'll just have to rotate and paint and rotate and paint to make sure you get all sides of the trim board covered. Once you've got them painted, you want to set them aside to dry as well. While your pink paint is drying, you're going to take a stencil or you can freehand a bunny. I just printed a bunny outline off of my computer on a piece of paper. Anyways, use that to trace a bunny onto the back of a piece of contact paper. Contact paper is what you use like to line your shelves. And then you will just go ahead and along those lines, cut out the bunny. I love this project because you don't need a special cutting machine to do it because the bunny is a simple enough shape that you can just cut it out with scissors. So you're gonna go ahead and cut it apart and once you do, you can peel the backing off the contact paper that leaves a sticky bunny, so a giant sticker. You're gonna go ahead and stick that right down onto your board. You wanna make sure that it's nice and adhered and really rub it on tight. After that, you're going to seal the stencil. I've talked about this before, but you want um, none, you don't want it to um, seep under, and if it does, you want it to be the same color. So you're gonna paint with the exact same color as your background to seal the edges of your stencil. That way, when we move on to this next step, the white, it won't go under the edges. So after your pink dried, you're gonna go ahead and paint with white all around. And it's okay if it's streaky. I kind of liked that look for this project where the pink was able to show through just a little. Now you're gonna take a break while that white dries and make your pom-pom. You can make a pom-pom with your fingers or with a fork, but my favorite way to make it is to use a pom-pom maker. They really make a difference in making a nice, big, fluffy pom-pom. You just wrap, wrap, wrap around the, both arms of the pom-pom maker, then close it, and cut through the middle, tie a string around it, and then um, fluff it out. Okay, so if your board's dry, peel off your sticker. That's the best part, the grand reveal. I love that part. Now you can go ahead and hot glue the pom-pom if you want. You're gonna take your trim boards, set them where they go, and just tack them down. You can use a hammer and a nail or a nail gun, whichever you're more comfortable with. That's all there is to it. You can also distress it. Don't to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the crafty fun. Sugar Bee Crafts here on YouTube.